So one of the most hyped things from the upcoming preview for Dragon Ball Super's next week's episode was we see seemingly the return of not only Hit, which we only got a glimpse of him for two episodes and those little filler, I guess, episodes leading into the preliminary episodes of the tournament, but also Frost. The return of Frost, he looks like he's some sort of, you know, criminal. Obviously, if you've seen in those episodes again, that Frost was on the run. So in this episode, seeing him with like the cloak and shit like that and running and then trying to fight against Hit, you could tell that potentially Hit put out an assassination or an assassination was put out on Frost and Hit took the charge. And I'm like, oh my gosh, because if you've seen the Universe 6 tournament, then you already know like... Buddy, you, you don't have a chance. Like, Frost was nowhere near. Vegeta just came through and bopped him in the face and he went flying. What chance in hell does Frost have against Hit? And you even see in that one, like, Hit, because especially with his new powers, which makes him even more hacks, is not going to be phased by Frost at all. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. It could be that Bottles and Champa sent out not necessarily the Hit, but, hey, Hit, we're going to give you a bag of money. Bring Frost back to us. We, we need him for the tournament, even though personally wouldn't want him uh, i really wouldn't want most of the universe six fighters to be honest with you like if kaba trained and really got stronger using those super saiyan powers sure hit obviously of course that's the one that definitely the best one of the team and i guess frost would be technically but like you know Magetta, uh the, the winnie the pool motherfucker like those guys personally i wouldn't care and even frost to a certain degree just because unless he gets like that golden frieza transformation He's not really that credible right now, but it's going to be interesting to see what happens between him and Hit. And I'm imagining, again, that it's not necessarily an assassination or him trying to even collect a reward on him being missing. It probably is Champa and Bottles because if you've seen in the trailer for, you know, the Universe Survival Tournament and whatnot, you see Frost in there. So maybe Champa and Bottles said, yo, we need him. Even though he was kind of trash, we need every strong person that we can get from Universe 6 because we don't really know who is strong else out there in the Universe 6. You know what I'm saying? Like, aside from hit who really can come up there and do some things and frost i mean if frieza could do it i don't see why frost can't do it if frieza can go from scrub lord to golden frieza able to fight with gods frost can do the same thing and probably then some if he has more time i mean it just really depends on what's going to happen but really looking forward to that next week's episode and there's going to be some other stuff going down but that's the thing that i'm kind of most excited about and then of course in the trailer we see some of the gods gods of destruction getting ready and shit like that so it looks as though honestly based on this preview anyway that not that much longer until we get on to the full-on tournament like a small amount more and we're gonna get there because we see that gi joe looking motherfucker from the pride troopers personally i'm not that hype about him every time i see him i think oh my god oh we're, we're going to the 80s for this shit or something so i'm not really hyped for him but you can definitely see all the troops are slowly gathering up and it's like okay we got everybody on universe 7 side which they even show like who's on universe 7 side but yeah we, we're getting everything everyone in the other universe is gathering up and it's kind of like okay even though gi joe motherfucker i'm, I'm just I'm, I'm not a believer i'm not like I, I need to see more before i cast my judgment on that dude and it's teasing that something's wrong with majin boo i won't spoil for people that haven't watched my spoiler videos about what's going on with that but there's gonna be something wrong with boo but if you remember correctly he was skinny for a bit maybe he put on all the weight again or maybe there's something preventing the z fighters from reaching him like there's something wrong with boo and i, I don't want to dive too much into it because again i know what, what what's you know wrong with boo based on the spoilers but it's gonna be interesting to see as well because it seems as though there's potential because we got the universe survival trailer and we got the opening and shit like that that showcases but it seems as though there's potential for a lot of that to be somewhat misleading and for us even though we thought okay this was the roster it's all said and done maybe that won't be the case maybe yamcha in the last minute could switch out roshi maybe something else could happen who knows so gonna be looking forward to that what's wrong with boo and what's going on there and then the only other thing in the preview really to discuss is that green haired chick at the end of the preview i have no idea i'm guessing maybe she could be part of the pride troopers or somebody else entirely that's gonna be interesting but honestly out of that preview the one thing that had me just hype as hell is the frost versus hit thing the art and animation looked really good on that as well so it's like it's gonna look nice and i'm looking forward to seeing all the other universes gather up and get ready because probably another handful of episodes left and we'll finally be into this tournament it's taking a long time but at the very least they're doing some good prep work so we could get more used to a lot of these characters that are going to be pivotal for the upcoming universe survival tournament curious what you guys think though do you think there's a possibility frost can have a golden form and can jump up to that super saiyan blue strength and then some also what do you think about that preview hit versus him like let's be honest 
Do you really think Frost has a snowball's chance in hell against Hit? Come on now. Stop playing. <laughs> and your overall thoughts based on the preview, your expectations. I'm not looking forward to G.I. Joe. Uh, the green-haired girl, whatever. Boo's problems is interesting. And, of course, Frost versus Hit. So, mixed bag. But, who knows? Maybe they can make it interesting and everything will be good. Or, yeah. <laughs> your overall predictions for next week. That's all I have for this one, though. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and stalk my Facebook to get more when the video ends. I'm FNF World. And, as always, people, have an awesome day.